Hi guys and welcome back to the renovation vlog part 2. This is going to be the final instalment of the renovation. I will do a little room tour at the end of today's video so if you want to skip straight to that I'll leave a timestamp in the description box down below. But I really hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch in with you at the end. guys so I'm gonna clean up the utility it's finally done uh, the only thing we're missing is like a shelf to go on this wall to put all of the drawers on um, but we're gonna look on it tonight and see if we can get one and uh, yeah so this room's fine to be used now um, at the moment we've just got I'll just pop my feet down there we've got all the plastic still on the cupboards and the floors still got paint all over it so I'm going to give everything a good clean now and then we can peel all the plastic off and then we can look to move some things in. So in these cupboards, I'll just prop you back up. So in these cupboards here, we've got the drawers, the wire drawers, which we're going to have fruit and veg on, things that don't need to be in the fridge. At the moment, I've just got some little decoration bits that I thought would look nice in here when it's done. So we've got this little scented diffuser, I think it's pineapple, yep, and a little white company candle that I got for Christmas, this is the scent winter. I also have this little plant that I thought might look cute on the shelf but I'm, I'm not sure, we'll see how it looks afterwards. And then in this middle drawer, at the moment we've just got our bags but I want a better way of storing these so we'll look to reorganise everything after I've cleaned it and took the plastic off. I'm going to start organising the drawers underneath the sink. I'm absolutely knackered, so I don't have much energy, um, but we'll see how it goes.
this is the shelf so we were going to buy a natural wood shelf from etsy but it was going to cost about 180 pounds for one to fit this wall to the exact dimensions and to be honest that's just ridiculous so my dad looked in the garage and he's seen that he had these three pieces of wood they're all the same thickness they're just different finishes and he put them together when he was off from work one day and he created this shelf from scratch so we've got a really nice finished edge on the front there where he's sanded out some of the knots to add a bit more texture which is really nice and we do like this colour a lot more it's a bit warmer and it'll match the jars that are going on it so that's been here just to flatten out and sort of straighten itself out automatically and then we went on Etsy and we bought these solid brass shelf hangers um, we don't know how many we'll need it is only a stud wall so we do need as much sort of weight held up as much as we can because we don't want it to pull down when we put the jars on so I got four and it's uh, three holes by two I think these are about eight inch by six and the shelf is 11 inches so it covers sort of the majority of the shelf which is fine and then this little bit will be sticking down on the wall hello so my dad's just put the shelf up we've got the brackets on they're not the best brackets uh we sort of needed ones with a little bridge between there because the shelf is flexing so my dad's gonna see if he can make something to fit there and stabilize the shelf a little bit but i'm just getting the cloth it's up and it looks great and this is this isn't the jar that we're putting up here but this was just to see what it looked like this is a plastic one we've got glass ones so i'm going to give everything a good clean and then i'm going to get the jars from upstairs give them, them a clean and then start prepping the jars I really like the shelf, I like the finish of it and I think it really complements the gold and then I like how this brass matches this brass almost perfectly so this is it before the jars, these are all the supplies that we got to actually fill the jars so we've got our double O grade flour, that's for our pizzas and pastas we've got some British flour at the back there and there, we've got some pasta, some tagliatelle, some granulated sugar this is my new favourite thing, uh, PG Tips granules. When we went to Manchester for a concert, the Airbnb that we stayed in had these and I'd never tried them before and never had any intention of trying them, but they're amazing. So we've got a jar of those in the kitchen already. We've also got a giant chilli powder there. We've got some coffee pods and also some tea bags, which are this one these ones so the decaf bedtime brew with vanilla and nutmeg so Zach pick those out we do also have are they in here no I do need to go through all these cupboards as well because it's getting a bit ridiculous but we have loads and loads of bags of coarse cornmeal I think it is for our, when we make pizzas so I'll have to find those upstairs so we can put them in the jars and then this needs organising with all our kitchen appliances so very exciting uh, we just have to go and see if we can find everything else so let's go this will be the last cup of tea from that hot water machine in the kitchen because we can finally put the new kettle out
and this is how it's looking currently. I'll do a much more in-depth video next week on the actual organisation and decor pieces. But just a quick run through, we've got our shelf with all our things on. We've got our built-in fridge, our coffee grinder. We've got a coffee machine that's coming next week for that gap. And then we've got our kettle. And then these are the finished cabinets with our gold handles. We do have chrome and black um, appliances just because we thought they looked the best. And then we have this little plant from Home Bargains. But that is the room as a whole. We will be replacing these doors, um, but you know, they're just there until we get the rest of the downstairs done. So that's just what came with the house. So we gave that a little bit of a paint. <clears throat> and then we've got the skirting and then our fancy coven. This is the one from Screwfix. This is quite a, a tall Victorian style polystyrene coven. We wanted to do this because this room is quite bright and white. And we wanted to add a little bit of interest up on the ceiling. And then there's a little look at our spotlights. They still have the plastic coverings on just until we completely finish this room. But that is everything. So I really hope you enjoyed this renovation process. Stay tuned for next week and I'll do a more in-depth tour, but I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.